Hello, today I want to talk about being a bridge between worlds. And I've briefly discussed this topic before. And the reason that I, I talk about this is because I feel for my own um, my own journey of life is that it's been a very big theme for oneself, being a bridge between worlds and often for me especially younger in the younger younger times of my life is the realms of creativity and logic and merging those areas within myself some are called parts but they are yeah it's all of me and merging them because they are somewhat of a paradox and it can feel, for me personally, I've got one foot in one place and one foot in another. And again, it's creating a, a bridge between worlds that often or may not always be interacting with each other. Or there can be a discord when there's an interaction with them. So creating a smoother path between the two makes it easier to bring in the, the strengths of, of those kind of spaces. And... As of late, I now find it really useful for the communities and the networks that I'm involved in. You know, there's often these paradoxes I'm finding myself in regards to physical and spiritual realms, intellectual, emotional realms, feminine, masculine, corporate art, you know, and these are not saying that they're necessarily separate and that they are not the same but in some levels there is a paradox between those kind of polarities or paradoxes that I've just mentioned and another thing that I have come to really value of late is that I identify somewhat you know as a woman as a woman embodied human um, while I'm in this physical form in this life and the magical thing about that is that we literally have a portal a magical portal between worlds that resides within our body and is accessible at any time, at any moment. And then at varying degrees and varying abilities, depending on the cycle of the human body as well, which is it's pretty amazing and pretty magical. And uh, when one starts to sort of surrender and accept into what it is to be in a female body. Anyway, another topic, another day. So I also wanted to share like what I have found the first key to really embodying and um, strengthening that ability of being a bridge between worlds is the recognition of oneself having this ability. And we all have this ability in many forms and many facets of our life. For some people, it shows up more so than others and when you're having the self-inquiry and the observation of the paradoxes supposed paradoxes that may reside within you in the worlds that you're in and how the world engages with you it's it's a really beautiful thing and it potentially is a pathway a way to engage with the world that you may want to further strengthen and further embody to a, be of service to these worlds, to the people around you, to the communities that you that you live in. I know for myself also when I look at my own astrological blueprint, things like my human design, my gene keys, it's very much, it's very prominent within um, those spaces the time of which I have been born into this earthly plane. Time is a funny thing, topic for another day, you know, and the place in which I decided to be born. All of that, it's um, almost no surprise that I am finding myself feeling like a bridge between worlds. And some of my close peers, we talk about what we call the rainbow bridge, which gives another element to the context of building building bridges and the last thing I wanted to to share and to remind us is to 
remain open and embody your truth and love while also uh, respecting your own capacity of being that bridge. There is, as much as I could say on one level, there is no limitation. There is still limitation in one's capacity to, to show up and be in any kind of space, in any kind of way, at any given time, while we're residing in this human experience at this moment. Um, for some, they would say, no, there's not. There's no limitation. And that's okay if that's where you are. But if that's not where you are, then you don't want to be spiritually bypassing your actual physical capacity, your mental capacity, your emotional capacity, your spiritual capacity to be able to be and continue to bridge um, between worlds. Now, again, you know, with that, you're, you're building and engaging those abilities, working them like it's a muscle. It's a continual um, nurturing as well, like growing a plant, attending to it, you know, and ensuring that you can communicate well so that the people in these different worlds, as we may sort of see them as different worlds, so they can understand what it is that you're sharing. For myself, I don't see a lot of value for me to be going around uh, sharing information, sharing knowledge, sharing wisdom with everyone in the exact same way. Some would say, well, that's not really being like truthful because you're changing what you are sharing depending on the audience. Yes, but it's more important to me that that is expressed in a way that is in a stood to the person. And then I feel, well, this is my own perception, but I feel that then the truth is still communicated. Whereas if it was always said with the same terms and the same language and the same way to every single person, um, are they really going to like understand it on many levels or is it only going to be understood on one level that they may not even be able to engage with or recognize that's, that's there within them. See, that's how I see it, is I am remaining in my truth of sharing what needs to be shared and I'm adjusting how that is shared according to one's capacity to engage with that sharing. And, yeah, I guess the last thing I want to mention is sometimes one has to accept and surrender into the fact that you may feel or be perceived to be a minority in spaces. Because you don't quite fit just in that box ever so nicely and tightly and whatnot. And you don't quite ever so fit in this other box ever so nicely and tightly and Again, there's a whole thing we could get into around identities and all of that. And that's a whole other vlog for another day. So when you start to accept that we are all same, but we also are all slight variations and being okay with being the same and being different all at the same time, it makes it a smoother and more graceful and harmonious road to building and maintaining um, bridges and uh, yeah interesting topic and I just felt really cool to in this moment to be sharing this here with you if this is resonating you know you're more than welcome to to share it with others you can leave comments questions thoughts feelings down below you can also reach out to me on other various social media platforms the links for all of that is in the description box and yes I will see you in the next vlog.